Okay, so today's project is going to be a little bit different. I told y'all about my Raspberry Pi. And um, we just wound up taking this stick right here from out of our Pandora's box. The problem is, is that what we're using is a Dragon's, I forgot, a Dragon encoder. I forgot the exact name of it, but it's an encoder that does not have the Sanwa connections on the back of it. This right here, I gotta go ahead and touch my focus. Those are your San Juan connections. I don't. And so now the problem is I don't have those connections on the bottom of my encoder for my Raspberry Pi. So what we're getting ready to do is you're getting ready to watch me solder something for the very first time myself. Again with basic house stuff. I'm gonna use my soldering gun a little bit of this soldering wire right here. And then we're gonna actually tap in to the actual sensors for the control. Let me set this down so we can get a good idea of what I'm talking about. So while we're down here at the actual base of the control, you can see a little metal tab there and a metal tab there. That's gonna be for one direction, I'm pretty sure. And then we're gonna have another one here, and we're gonna have another one there, and then we're gonna have another one here, and we're gonna have another one right there. The same on this side. That's gonna be for your four directional inputs. So since I don't have a clip or nothing that can go on to that, what I'm actually getting ready to do is solder the wire with this soldering gun and connect those down there and hook it up to my encoder that way. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, I don't have no one to really ask right now at the top of my head if that's going to work, so we're just getting ready to try it. Worst thing that could happen is it's not going to work, right? Alright, let's check it out. Okay, so again, I'm a novice at this. I've never soldered before, so here we go. I don't know if this soldering gun is just cheap, but it's not really melting the way I want it to. And this is why I don't solder. And I will say this is a Harbor Freight soldering gun. So. Okay, so as you see, we're just gonna skip past all that because it got a little frustrating and it wasn't working out too good. As a matter of fact, check this out. See how a little frustrated I got back there. So anyway, put that to the side. This is my little octopus legs. We got them on. So, we're gonna attempt to see if we match this up with the same controls that's already down there. This is up already as it is, I'm sure of that. So we're gonna match this on down there with our Raspberry Pi sticks, which don't use these kind of connections. And we're gonna see if we can get this to work. Cause like I said, we're gonna try to utilize all of our pieces around here that we can so I don't wind up having a whole bunch of pieces that I can't use when I could have used them for a previous project already. So let's go down there and check that out. Okay, so as you see right now, we already got the control dropped out. I still have it up on this side because we're just going to be testing one at a time right now. My hands are looking kind of crazy and dirty. So what we're getting ready to do is go around and flip to the back of this. And I'm going to show you where our current situation is. So, that was our little TV project right there. So when we come to the back, we can go ahead and lock this in for us. So you're gonna see back here that pretty much everything is all in disarray a little bit. Nothing is mounted yet because I'm not sure exactly where everything is gonna lie at when we're done with this machine. So I have this screwdriver just sitting in here because I know that this marks the top of this unit as it sits on the inside of this going this way so all I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to match all these pins that's on the top right here 
with the control that I currently have. And we're going to hope that that works where we want it to. So I'm going to go up from there and test this theory out. Not sure if I explain what I'm getting ready to do right now. So I'm going to do it one more time. This one sat up here just like this. That's the top. This one sat up there. And my old one just like that. So what we're getting ready to do is just swap, swap wire to wire i'm going to replace this wire with this one and go all the way around just the same so i'm getting a little bit low on camera so i'm going to show that to y'all when i'm done and we're going to go from that just to give you a quick example how hard these are to get off i'm a little surprised they normally shouldn't be this hard to get off but i had to grab some pliers Right, man. I'm trying to do a gentle because I don't want to pull it too hard or hit the wall, yank a wire out of this. So I'm trying to be gentle but get a grip at the same time. But I will say these connections are pretty stern. That's how tight these are on there. Don't recommend doing it like that, but do whatever you got to do to get them off. Ah. I was actually a mission, wound up knocking my camera down, and yeah, that's how that went. So I'm just going to show you one, and then I'm going to go on ahead and do the rest of these, knock them out. So I got the blue right there. Connect my white. I'll put some real connectors on them once I actually get a chance to um, make sure that this is actually going to work. Because again, this might not work at all. Could be wasting my time right here. But we're getting ready to pigtail these, each one all the way around, tape it up, drill it back up in there. So we're finally screwing the new unit back in. We got the old one out. I'm gonna set this one to the side. And um, just make sure that if you are putting a new unit in that is separate from the one that you already have, just make sure that everything matches up on your new one as the same as the old one. Because most encoders just run your second joystick off of your right. So if you put this one in, your wires are wrong, or if it's upside down, someone's gonna be messed up when they start moving in directions. One person may be right, the other person may be wrong. So just make sure you have everything set up right, matching both sides when you put it back in. So we're gonna screw this in now, turn around and see what the difference is. Somehow, some way, my two holes on the side back didn't line up. It's not a big issue. We can make some later. We'll figure that out another time. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting too old to keep getting down there like that, bearing up between these little corners. So let's hope that this works out right this time. Okay, so we had to back the screen up, 
so I'm sorry it's not going to be all that clear for you. So you see the new joystick right here, old one right here. Now I should have recorded what I just got finished doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Because what just happened was I was playing and it worked 100% fine. And then I started the game with this side. And as soon as I tested all the same directions, then this side direction stopped working. So it worked just fine. And there's only one direction that's not working in. And that's jumping diagonal that way. So this whole time I was thinking that it was the joysticks. But after watching what it just did, I'm seeing that this is something else more that has to do with just the joysticks. I'm, I'm actually starting to believe that other than the joysticks, it's my encoder that's going bad. So what I just did was I just erased that whole ROM and I just rolled back to the first ROM that we was on. So I'm going to see how good this one works before I even plug this one up. Because again, like I said, it was working just fine. It was working fine in the other console. It was working fine in here. Everything was okay until I started the game with this controller. So again, we're getting ready to go ahead and start up another ROM, go through the controls all over again, and see if that's going to help us with our issue. <laughs> Okay, so we're back here at the game pads now. We're getting ready to reconfigure these all over again to see what we're getting ready to get. Here we go. Up, down, left, right. It's going to be start, it's going to be select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder. I don't have a joystick in right now, so I'm going to skip all these real quick. Of course, when you get to the end, if you don't have an actual exit button, you can skip it and pretty much make your select button, uh, your select button, your exit button. So I gotta turn down. All right, left. I'm gonna go straight into the CPS 3 games, and I'm going to try. Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. Let's cross our fingers and see what happens, y'all. Select button works for quarters. Start. Right. Up. Left. Down. We'll go ahead and select King. Let's see if we can throw some fireballs, some kicks. See what we got going. I could jump forward. I could throw a fireball. I cannot jump forward in that direction. So yes, it has to be the encoder. I still can't jump back. I can move back, but I can't jump back. That has to be something with the encoder. The sad part is it was working just fine in the beginning. And I just find it very strange that if I come over here, so now we're gonna to come to this side too, and you're gonna notice that Ryu is not gonna be able to jump forward in that direction. So this, I can jump back, I can move forward, barely. I can go down, down, up. 
I didn't set none of the buttons on this side. Yes, I did. There's something with being able to jump. I can't. If you even try and go in that direction, it'll actually just cancel on you. So I got to figure out what that is. I don't know why it's doing that. Like I said, you could jump this way. You can go down. We can go back. We can go forward. And we can jump. But I can't go in that direction. I've tried new controllers. I don't know what it can be that can possibly be giving me that issue right there. So don't know what we're going to try next. That's just the end of this little piece right here.